Go. On comedy. Go. Speak report. Yes. That was a very good pronunciation of very good. Of Balevdes, you're watching the first episode of the Spurk Report. I'm Sergei Sarkisian, this is Narek Markarian, and together we'll be your hosts for the rest of your lives. If you're watching this, you're either a part of Spurk or Spurk Curious. The word Spurk, by the way, is not a made up awesome explosive sound. It actually means diaspora, literally spread. Like Armenians are neatly spread around the world. Spurk. Our mission will be giving you the most important news from home without boring you to death. So let's spurk it! Let's just do it! You can't say just do it, it's a trademark thing and you never I know when you I said let's it. just do it! Well in that case, I'm really loving it. <laughs> Think different. Quick update on what is Armenia. It's a cute country with great food. It's cluster-hugged by unfriendly Turkey, nuclearizing Iran, belligerent Azerbaijan, and least original-sounding neighbor Georgia. Majority of Armenians live outside Armenia and do great job achieving success worldwide. And now, 27 years from gaining independence from USSR, it's time to make sense of where we are and how we can make our home better and stronger. Was that too much information? They can handle it. They can so Armenia, aka the only place where no woman filed a complaint against Harvey Weinstein, is enjoying relative stability. The biggest change in Armenia so far is the amended constitution, removing from a presidential state yes. to a parliamentary state next April. What it really means, you only get to vote at national elections once every five years. So it saves a lot of election hustlers and handlers, a lot of hustling and handling. But that may be the more democratic way to go. We give this elected body a chance to collectively run the country with stronger lawmakers. What can go wrong? Let's see how are they doing so far. What they were up to just this past month. Head of the Yelk faction Nikol Pashinyan claims this morning inside the parliament he was attacked by Artashes Geramyan, representative of the ruling Republican Party. I successfully defended myself and even shined my shoes with him a couple of times. I'm sorry I have to work under such circumstances. Fight, 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 fight! <laughs> okay, well, maybe this is not what we meant when we said we need stronger lawmakers in the parliament. I'm sure there's a remotely reasonable explanation for this whole moral combat situation inside parliament. Let's see how the other side explains what happened. His face was red. Well, maybe he blushed. His conscience finally woke up. He said you punched him. If I punched anyone, they'd be hospitalized. I practiced boxing for three and a half years. That is true, Artashes Geramian was supposed to be the original villain in Rocky III, but then the casting people went with someone less extravagant. Who? Mr. T. Okay, so just a flat denial of the whole incident is the strategy, huh? Yep. Did anyone see the rumble? Alleged rumble. Okay, the alleged rumble. Any eyewitnesses? Just one, Napoleon. No, I'm, I'm serious, like anyone saw this? I said Napoleon, Napoleon Azizian. Why would anyone name their child Napoleon? Well, it was either that or Adolf. It happened over there. By the cafeteria? We heard some noise, but it was all over by the time we arrived. What was over if nothing happened? Well, since this was near cafeteria, maybe the fight was over who gets the last strawberry donut. Anyway, this is just one tiny incident. You can't judge an entire parliament by that one alleged fight. True. One is not enough. Move it, let's go, yalla! I'll break your jaw, beat it! Conflict in parliament. Farmanian gives Zurabian a nurturing slap. Ruby Kakopian cusses in parliament and hits a journalist. So yeah, these guys, the parliament, are about to become the bosses of the country. What can possibly go wrong? Can we maybe... Ban fighting in parliament? It's too early. We're just 27 years independent. Hey, looks like Anthony Bourdain got blacklisted by Azerbaijan for visiting Artsakh. Oh, that's a shame. You feel bad for putting him up to it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Hi, 
As you may know, Armenia and Russia are strategic allies, which is one of the ways to avoid Russian hackers. But you gotta understand that Russia is also very irresistible. They gave us all their love, their passion, and a binding giant military base the size of Delaware. The size of Delaware? Americans like to measure stuff in Delawares. Anyway, good thing is that we're not politically monogamous. We're also very close with the US and Europe. Sometimes we even make huge sacrifices to get closer with the European Union. We even had to sacrifice our favorite member of the parliament. Yes, sir. Yeah. We let good old Schmeiss go so we can start talking about signing a new cooperation treaty with the European Union. And right after losing our last hobbit shaped MP, the ice broke with Europe. The new agreement will be signed. Can you give us details about negotiations and when we can expect that signing? It is clear that the negotiations on the new framework agreement have reached the final stage. Yes, a few months ago, Armenia-EU agreement reached the final stage and then somehow it got into terminal stage. Now, we're not saying it's not gonna be signed. We're just saying we're feeling some cold feet here. Here's the EU ambassador just weeks before the expected signing. No, 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 this is the EU ambassador after Armenia signing that treaty with Russia in 2016. Uh, the new video. Ambassador Svitalsky expressed hope that the treaty will be signed on time. Deploying every possible effort. And I'm very proud for all my colleagues in Brussels. Proud of colleagues? Well, that's cute, but not enough. How come you just granted a visa-free regime to Georgia? Not that Georgia. That's not even a country, it's a designer in Italy. Of Armenian origin, by the way, hence part of Spurk, hence for some weird reason banned in Turkey, but that's beside the point. So yes, the country. We're just saying, either give us the new treaty and an easier visa access, or make things fair. Take free travel privilege back from Georgia. Access to the European Union for Georgians may be once again restricted. Thousands of Georgians are not returning home. Yes. One little step at a time. So, now, what can we expect from U.S.? Oh, let's see. Uh, I think a lot of good things are happening. And you're going to see a lot of love. You're going to see a lot of love. Okay? Thank you. When he says we'll see lots of love, does that involve grabbing us by the Sunic region in the south? No, I'm sure he means well. Or I hope so. Let's pray there's no nuclear holocaust. The Spirk Report has a surprise for you. Just a few months ago, our team had a unique chance to visit Facebook's headquarters. We witnessed how great ideas come to life in one of the world's biggest companies. And we got a free lunch. Here's our short report from inside Facebook. Facebook, one of the world's leading innovative companies. This short documentary will show you how great ideas that change our lives are born here at Facebook. Hi, I'm David. My job is to come up with ideas that will blow your mind. Ideas that will make your Facebook experience unforgettable. Can I go now? Everyone in the office is looking up to Dave. He's such an inspiration. I love watching his process, how he comes up with the idea, how he gets the creative juices flowing. Sometimes he'll just lie down for days thinking. It's fascinating. We are the world's leading social network because we never stop changing. Even I don't know what Dave is up to. All I know, he will surprise me. He never changes his clothes when he's working on something, which is totally okay. I have no problem with it. It's better not to talk to Dave when he's working on something. He can be a little edgy. I should have known better not to bother Dave. He really needs his space to come up with his great ideas. I'll never forget the day when Dave invented the angry emoji for Facebook. I spilled some coffee on his new shirt, he got a little bit angry, 
But then he channeled that anger into creativity. Of course, I had to stay in a hospital for a couple of weeks. You know, Dave is onto something when he starts acting weird, weirder than usual. Today's the day. Dave will unveil the new feature that will change Facebook forever. I can't wait to see what it is. Okay, here it is, guys. From now on, every time you type the word congratulations on Facebook, it's gonna automatically turn orange. <laughs> in all languages. And then balloons and shit come out. Yeah! Woo! You did it! You did yes. it, you did it you did Davies it. getting a raise. It's a spectacular win, no doubt. So you think they're going to be able to pronounce spurk? Spurk. Spurk. It's, it's really spurk. easy. Yeah. Well, sometimes it takes an effort, like spurk. You have to be spurk. Spurk. Yeah, but spurk. spurk. It's very pronounceable. Yeah. You think they're going to pronounce report right? Re well, that's going to take a while. Report. Re report. 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 And he keeps them out of sight. Do you know where that shark bites? With his teeth, dear. Scarlet billows start to spread